Hello everybody, welcome back to Yazi Family Vlogs. Today's video, I've been wanting to do this video for the longest time. A while back, we got um, gifted some items and one of them was this one right here. A spam cookbook. It's just full of ingredients, ingredients, recipes to cook spam different ways. It's a 100 plus quick and delicious recipe from traditional to gourmet. The ultimate spam cookbook. I've been wanting to do this video, all these videos, since we got this, that's how excited I was. So today I'm going to attempt my first video from this cookbook. And then um, I'm going to continue. I'm wondering if I'm going to continue it as a series, maybe uh, two times a week or one video a week for this series right here. Cause there are a lot of recipes in here. And it's gonna take a long time if, probably the whole year if we do the, the one recipe a week. And I can't believe I'm excited to do this because I never grew up eating spam. But today I love spam though. And there's a lot of um, recipes in here that uh, I have never heard of or never even tried. It um, tells you what kind of spam you can use, wh whether it's the hot and spicy, the bacon, the barbecue. I think there's barbecue, there's teriyaki, there's jalapeno. So that one of them is a fried spam ball. And then there's some other recipes that stand out. A two-step Spam grilled cheese. Savory Spam classic with ramen. I love ramen. Spam Mahalo cups. Spam burger sloppy joes. Sprunch. Spam pesto stuffed peppers. There's just like all kinds of recipes in here. Wonton Spam Egg Roll. I'm excited to really try this, but uh, my first recipe is gonna come from, I just had it. It's gonna come from the dinner section of this book. There's um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner and appetizers. So I'm gonna go straight for the dinner part. <clears throat> and the one I'm gonna do is this one right here. Spam teriyaki pineapple and red pepper. I guess the kebabs. And that's how it is supposed to look when I am done making this dish right here. So I'll put all the ingredients in the description so you guys can try it along with the directions. And then um, it's asking for teriyaki spam, but I don't have the teriyaki. I just have the original spam. I do have teriyaki sauce, so I'm gonna use teriyaki sauce. Uh, total time is roughly around about 30 minutes for everything, I guess, prepping and cooking. Um, four servings is what this ingredient is calling for. I'm going to try my best to make it look just like that. <clears throat> I'll take a picture. I'll put it side by side whenever I'm done. Um, I never done anything like this before. So I'm excited to see how easy it is and how quick it'll be to make this dish right here. It glares in my my glasses. 
So I'm excited to see how this turns out and just kind of just, I guess we'll test and push myself with all these um, spam recipes I have never heard of. Um, the only thing I ever heard of was spam and potatoes and spam burritos. So it's good to try different recipes from another country, from another culture. And this one doesn't explain the background of um, what culture or, you know, who makes it the most. But it does sound good though. It's teriyaki, pineapple, and red pepper, and red onions. But let's get started and start cooking these. I got my red onion here. I'm gonna cut this one up. I got my bell peppers right here. I'm using red. I'm gonna wash these, rinse them off, and then um, cut them up and then put them on the side. And then we'll start with cutting up the spam right after that. Everybody knows the sound. And one thing I'm adding is going to be the pineapples. I'm using canned. I'm not going to use the fresh one. If I get the fresh, <clears throat> I think the whole thing is just going to go to waste. This should be enough though. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to dice it up. And then we'll start getting ready. Let's get started now. This whole time I was talking, I thought I was recording. I wasn't even recording. But we're just going to skewer them like this. You guys can probably use whatever vegetables you want. And put a... Maybe, um... What do you call that stuff? What do you call it? Um, 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 um. Squash. Squash. When I was thinking about it, I was thinking squash would be good with this. But I was only going by what was only asking for this video. Or this book, this page. And I was pretty excited for the red onion. I like red onions. Red, but I call it purple. It's not red, it's purple. It's not purple, it's red. Someone's gonna say that to you. Yep. Put as much as you want on there. Only gonna do about that much. There's no right way, there's no wrong way, there's no, you gotta do it this way, you gotta do it that way, just put whatever you want on here. 
you a vampire, you can put a garlic thing on there. Or, no, vampires don't eat garlic. Blood sausage. <laughs> what else would I put on here besides this? Probably squash. I'm all being tight with the with the meat and only putting two on there. I like the onions though. So I'm gonna finish this up and then uh, we'll come back and then we'll we'll grill them up. Nala already wants them here. Nala, get down. Come here. So let me finish this up. I got my grill heating up right here. Yes, I'm grilling indoors, so we can't grill outdoor. I don't think this will be too bad since it's just vegetable skewers mainly. Halfway there, almost done. That's it right now. You can smell it, it does smell good. I haven't even added the teriyaki sauce to it yet too. Okay, so now all I did was um, brush teriyaki sauce on there. So you guys can start to hear it now after I put on the teriyaki sauce. Smells good. There it is. It's all done. Spam skewers with some white rice. Grilled and then after the vegetables were cooked, I did a teriyaki sauce, put that on top and left it on the grill and it, it glazed. So, looks good. Can't wait to eat. We'll have a taste test coming up. Here it is, our first time trying this. Oh, can't even see my plate. No. White rice. Mm. Of course goes with it. Try and get one whole bite. Mm. Delicious. Mm -mm. Get down. Red onion, rice, bell pepper. 
pineapple and uh, spam. Mmm. All the flavors come together. Mmm. That pineapple. Grilled pineapple. Really simple to make. I give it a two, maybe one and a half out of 10 for the difficulty. It's a plus if you can grill, but if uh, so you guys seen, I grilled inside because I can't grill outside the apartment. Mmm. <laughs> now I'm trying to eat my food. This is good. Really good, not just because it's spam. Oh, it's spam? Mm hmm. I didn't even let it taste. You didn't know? I thought it was what? I don't know. Something. What do you think? You you never had this in the video. Um, well, I already know. She's throwing all her vegetables on the side. I don't like my puppies. This is new on the menu at Yazi Cafe. Mm -hmm. She's looking at you like, what? Let's get everything in one bite again. Goes perfect with my drink. Goes perfect with your, oh, she's got a pineapple drink from Starbucks. Everything is just right, especially the onion. All the flavors mix really well. With the rice. Mm-hmm. Good. Would I make this again? Heck yeah. Especially that char on that pineapple. It's really good. It reminds me of eating the pizza from Pizza Edge. You know the pineapple pizza? I'm not eating anything spicy. I don't know why my nose is running. Let's give you the rice. <laughs> hey! What is this called a kebab? But give it a try if you have it. I'll leave all the the description, how to prep it. The same way it's in that book, I'll leave it in there. Even though I don't do that for all my videos, but this one I will. It's really, really good. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. It's, um, all the flavors come together. It goes perfect with the rice. When I was cooking it, she goes, 
smells like I'm in a Hawaiian restaurant. I've never been in a Hawaiian, Hawaiian restaurant, but. Hawaiian grill. Hawaiian grill. <laughs> to you Hawaiians, is this a Hawaiian dish? Or is this like an Asian type culture thing? This is why I'm excited to do this book. To give us new ideas with spam instead of just a red spam. Potatoes and spam. So if it does well, we'll continue the spam series every, I don't know, maybe two, three, four videos. Well, not that well. much a week. <laughs> maybe one or two videos a week. I was going to call it Sp Spamtastic Tuesday. But like I said, it's just, there's so many recipes to just do it once, once a week. I think we're going to have to eat Spam twice a week. But, <coughs> bless you. <coughs> bless you. But this is good. I mean, excuse me. I eat this again. I would. I'm done. Look. Me too. So I hope I made it look just the way that book did. I'll insert the picture of the book. Well, thank you guys and thank you guys for joining us. Bye. Bye.